have a good day this is our lesson 2 i think you can remember closed systems and open systems as thermodynamic systems now we are going to study gas laws for our working for our working fluids that are inside closed systems as well as open systems okay now definitely now you know that in order to activate a process you should have working fluid what are these working fluid you can have many many type of working fluids fluid means gas or liquid here especially lot of thermodynamic processes are taken place with gases as working fluid now here you can see closed systems open systems both are in both cases you can have gases as working fluid then you see the bottom slide aeroplanes ships trains vehicles many transportation systems engines and many many industrial practices power generation systems transmissions everywhere the boilers turbines chemical industries everywhere you have gases as working fluid so in those different in those applications we have to analyze these processes in order to analyze these processes what we should know we should know what the process is what is your initial state and what is your final state example state 1 and state 2 therefore finally work you can see like this working fluid act as the medium to carry out the process from state 1 to state 2 within closed systems as well as open systems okay now what you are going to do is you are going to apply gas laws to one of the working fluids now as you are told we are going to study gas laws and about gases first we define specific heat what is the definition amount of heat required to raise the temperature of its unit mass through 1 degree what do you mean by that If you take particular amount of working fluid with a unit mass, z one kilogram, and what is the heat quantity required to raise the temperature of selected substance by one degree? So that is the simple de definition. So shall we take heat transfer as dQ? work done as dw here after basically you know that liquids and solids they have only one specific heat you have studied in your advanced level q equal mc theta that is c which is a constant so that is specific heat but in the case of a gas you don't have a single specific heat you have number of specific heats depend upon the condition at what time or in which it is heated or it is undergone with with a particular process therefore what you should remember is 
the specific heat heats of gas is depended upon the processes that are taken place now we are going to study relations with specific heats so once you deal with the specific heats so you have to find out relationships as you know once processes are taken place the heat transfer is taken place we'll see how it is taken place A specific heat at constant volume you can denote as c subscript v then simply cv is specific heat at constant volume then you should remember we are not going for the derivation the heat transfer between state 1 and state 2 we'll say dq if the dq is equal m cv into t2 minus t1 that means that simply you can say dq is equal m cv dt you should remember now in the case of a constant volume process the how do you how do you can keep the process constant so you are outside system boundaries you can't move that means your vessel or the your system can't move from any 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 point around the boundary it simply says you can't move the boundary it it directly says no work done why you can't move the boundary therefore work done of a constant volume process is zero similarly if the system is closed and no work done the system the, the, the volume is constant so the energy the increased or decreased is remain within the molecules or atoms with the working fluid working fluid itself it remain within the working fluid itself therefore you are uh, the work is zero but you are dq the amount of heat supplied stored as the internal energy within the system therefore finally you can say in a in a constant volume process heat will be remained as internal energy it says du which is internal energy from state 1 to state 2 is equal to m cv dt then this equation you can generally apply it for uh, for gases with ideal conditions for your working fluid remember for your working fluid gaseous working fluids okay the next thing specific heat at constant pressure cp which is c subscript p cp in the particular case in this particular case the heat transfer between or the amount of heat supplied as a specific heat with the specific heat de definition the from state 1 to state 2 you can say that dq is equal to mcp t2 minus t1 because you are belongs to states finally dq is equal m cp dt in this particular case it doesn't say anything about constant volume or something therefore you can have positive work in addition example for air as a gas or working fluid or media cp is equal 1.005 kilojoule per kilogram kelvin that is the unit similarly cv for air is equal 0 0.0718 kilojoule per kilogram kelvin
Yes, you studied working fluids or you studied gas as working fluid and you studied two equations du equal m cv dt and dq equal m cp dt so now we are coming to the next on this one ratio of specific heats you know that cp and cv cp is denoted for specific heat at constant pressure cv is for cv stand for specific heat at constant volume then you are going to identify gamma is equal ratio of specific heats then gamma is equal cp divided by cv example what is this gamma so gamma is ratio of specific heats then for air as a working fluid uh, gamma is 1.4 for air you are given when you are solving problem but this is an example for you so then next we move on to the further little deeper with gas laws pv equal mrt very important equation that we have to use in thermodynamics this is remember this is pv equal mrt what is p pressure measured in kilo pascal what is v volume measured in cubic meter the what is m m is measured in kilogram r what is r which is very important because you haven't used up to now what is it r is characteristics gas constant and t t is temperature what do you mean by this r r is characteristics gas constant this is a particular character for a particular gas it depends upon gas to gas but you you have studied in advanced level what is pv equal in rut that means nrt you have studied i just put ru because you have many gas now many many things little further little deeper into the subjects what you have done only for the physics pv equal in rut in this case in this general equation what we have studies in advanced level we are not going to use in thermodynamics but simply you try to understand the relationship here universal gas constant which is ru you study then your universal gas constant which is ru you have used it in your advanced level is equal to mr what is m is molecular molar mass molecular weight multiplied by characteristics gas constant that means r universal is equal m into r this one is question simply if you think about n is number of moles n in your pv equal n r u2 i think you can remember i got row number and all these things that you have studied so n simple n stand for number of moles then n multiplied m gives you the entire mass okay i think that is for simply un sim simple understanding how this pv equal simple m r t how it is take then hereafter in engineering thermodynamics for engineers we use pv equal mrt as our basic equation remember previous years also student made mistake using this advanced level equation why they haven't attended for the lecture classes even they haven't gone through for the lecture series therefore don't misunderstand don't play fool remember you are going to use pv equal mrt as your as one of your gas law one of gas law okay now 
you are going to apply few gas laws that you have studied. What are those? Remember, du equal mcv dt, dq equal mcp dt, gamma equal cp divided by cv, and you studied PV equal MRT. So then, we'll think our closed system, closed process. Your system, we have not drawn surrounding then boundary. Hereafter, we just draw the system and the process. So the process is taken place from state 1 to state 2. Right. Now we are going to apply PV equal MRT for state 1 and a state to separate. Why? Why are you applying PV equal MRT? So we want to find out properties related to each state. And details of states after the process, before the processes. So then if you apply PV equal MRT for the state 1, P1, V1 equal MR, T1. Similarly, for the state 2, P2, V2 is equal MR, T2. So then, you can observe same process, same mass is there within the system because it is a closed system. The working fluid is not moving. So MR is same for both. So then finally, getting use of these two equations, P1, V1 equal MRT1 and combined with P2, V2 equal MRT2, you can derive P1, V1 over T1 is equal to P2, V2 over T2, which is the state equation. This is independent of mass and characteristic gas constant. Okay. We'll move on to the next. Oh, we are very happy. We have finished the lecture. We have reached to the summary. What is this summary? I'm not going to repeat this. You go through. These are the set of equations that you should remember. Where we have to analyze processes. Determining each state's with the properties identified. So in order to do that, you should know these equ equations. Right? Remember this equation. You have to remember. You have to use. Equations are not given. Even 13. So, these are fundamentals. Basics. These things should flow with your blood. As engineers. Okay. Thank you very much. Watching this, please subscribe to see more with YouTube channel. Thanks. Okay, you have to take care of yourself. Adhere to the measures taken from the governments to reduce vulnerability with this serious virus spreading virus COVID-19 until the mitigation is completed. Take care of it. Important thing, you should remember what you have studied. Take care. Have a good day.